So today I'm going to kind of kill several birds with one stone here and I'm going to test this Gorilla hot glue. I'm also going to test out this hot glue gun, Chandler. It's a CT60 which means it's a 60 watt version. And uh, we're going to throw together a really ugly bird box here. It's not a nest box, it's going to be a winter shelter. Sometimes it's called a roost. Small birds use it at night to escape heavy weather. Sleet, snow, extreme cold, things like that. We just want to get them out of the wind. I'm not going to use any hardware on this box. Every joint is just going to be hot glue. I'm also not going to clamp it. We're just going to put it together and the point is to test to see if this stuff is as strong as they say it is. It's supposed to be stronger than any kind of glue stick that you can get. So we're going to test it out. Everything here is just rough cut and thrown together. It's going to be ugly. Inch and a half bit there for the entry hole that's going to be on the front. We're using 5 16 inch dowels here. I'm going to cut them down and I'm using a 5 16 inch drill bit. And I'm going to mark it with this paint marker so that I don't drill all the way through it. The stock I'm using is pretty heavy duty cherry and uh, it's a little over an inch thick actually. So I want to drill the holes deep enough to accommodate those perches and I don't want to poke all the way through. So let's just drill some random holes. I'm not marking them, not measuring them. Just giving the birds plenty of space from one another and uh, these perches won't reach all the way across. They'll just almost touch the opposite wall and the birds can find their own height inside this box. Now we're making it pretty tall. This uh, winter roost here is over 12 inches high on the inside. And I'm just going to cut some dowels here with the chop saw. And now that I have a handful of dowels, I have my drilled holes, let's just put some glue in here. We could have just tapped the dowels right in there and they look like and felt like they would just hold their own. But we are testing the glue. I want to make sure none of this falls apart inside, especially when birds are on it. So let's just tap these in. And right after I tapped them in, I did try to pull them back out to see if the glue was holding. This stuff is supposed to have a 45 second work time, but it really sets fast. Now it probably doesn't help that it's about 42 degrees in this garage, so I just put them together on opposite sides and uh, there'll be lots of room there. This is my ugly top. This is the backboard. These are the sides, of course, that now have the dowels in them. And this is the front with the inch and a half diameter hole down near the bottom. Now I kept it well off the bottom and that's because I'm going to use this 2x4 to hold it in place. I'm also going to strap this whole thing to an iron T-post and I'm using this small stock on the back. Again, I'm just going to center it up on the backboard, glue it with the hot Gorilla Glue, and uh, that's all I'm using. I'm not going to clamp it, I'm just going to put it on. Maybe this thing will fall off. If it does, look for updates in the video commentary down below and I will update everyone if this thing bites the dust or if any parts fall off of it and so on. Again, I'm just positioning it by hand. I'm going to grab my little square here and make sure that it's kind of squared up. It doesn't have to be. Remember, you can just use scrap and build a roost out of almost anything. And uh, I decided to cut some little wooden cleats here, accommodate that uh, glue fillet, and I'm going to glue these on too. Just a little added strength. I really would hate to look outside and see that box face plant in the snow, especially if there are a bunch of birds in it. This is the bird's eye view. When they come in, they'll see all these perches. Of course, they move higher inside the box if they want to warm up more. And they go down lower if they want to cool down. The only ventilation for this box is the loose fit bottom. And of course, that inch and a half diameter entry hole. There it is. This is how it drops in. This will also allow me to pull that away and clear out the box. Maybe there'll be a dead bird, heaven forbid. But you want to be able to open the box and clean it out. And you can just use low pressure air to blow it out. The only hardware I'm using are these eye bolts and I'm just going to zip tie it. 50 pound rated zip tie will hold the bottom on just nice and again this is not sealed across the bottom but every other joint is sealed with Gorilla Glue and nothing else. Looks pretty good to me. We have that landing board there. You can also sprinkle some seed on that if you want to attract the birds to get them used to the box. We're going to strap it to the pole with the 75 pound rated zip ties here. They're 11 inches long. 
Everything that I've used here I'm going to put down in the video description so you can look it over if you want to. And there's my winter roost box. Now this is for Donnie woodpeckers or bluebirds. Bluebirds recently have been going into nest boxes on cold days. Titmice, nuthatches, chickadees. We have chickadees everywhere. And of course the wrens, which generally are near the edge of the woods. I've also put it near a tree that they always use for winter shelter anyway. So here it is, and it's in view of my kitchen window. So if this thing starts to fall apart, again, you know, the worst thing that's going to happen is the birds are going to fly out. This is a slow motion sequence because chickadees move so fast. They are coming in and checking out the box. Again, if you want to get them to accept the box and explore it, you can put some black oil sunflower seed on top of it or around the front. Anything to encourage them to come and check it out. And eventually they will look in these holes here. Inch and a half, as I said, is good for all the species that I just mentioned. It will keep out the bigger birds, like the blue jays. Uh, it will protect your birds from predators because they'll have a place to duck into. And the more comfortable they get with it, the faster they dart in and out of this thing. So it is interesting to me, and we will be putting up several others. If you notice, I did not put a mesh up the back wall, and I'm going to do that in other boxes. We're going to super glue some hardware cloth up the back so that things like the small woodpeckers can climb right up there. But uh, lots of birds will seek sanctuary primarily at night. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think and what you're doing for winter birds. Thanks for watching as always.